Hi there, my name is Phoebe Mipon, and the artist I was assigned is Tal R. Born in Israel in 1967, moved to Denmark as a one-year-old. He studied at Bildskolen Copenhagen in 1986 to 1988 and the Royal Danish Academy of Fine Arts 1994 to 2000. Currently teaches at the Kunstakademie Düsseldorf, sponsored by the Victoria Miro Gallery in London. Keem and Reed in New York City, Contemporary Fine Arts in Berlin and Tim Van Leer Gallery in Antwerp. His practice, he's a painter and a sculptor. His painting style is described as kolbignik, which means leftovers, which is a Hebrew word for jack of all trades. In 2004, he started painting with rabbit skin glue and a mixture of pigments, a long process technique that allows him to achieve the glowing intensity that helps accentuate his recent paintings. Art style, he has a mix of symbolism, fauvism, and art nouveau. His subject matter is focused on storefronts, unique figures, caged animals, and he does a lot of geometrical instead of representational, and his artworks blur between backgrounds and figures. So here we have Untitled Flowers shows different viewpoints to make an intimate space, creating flatness. The tamed flowers in a vase, appreciating their beauty called memento mori, in poetic terms, means that time is running out. Cares about the mathematics of the stems going into the vase is water. Math is very emotional and organizes stuff with lots of detail. The stems of the flowers are standing up, while some of them are drooping or falling out of the vase. Emotional thoughts towards looking at the flowers. Doesn't care about the philosophical or psychological aspects of painting or cares about making a great painting. In his recent exhibition, he makes paintings and drawings of flowers and vases. He gets artists from his hometown to pick flowers, put them in a vase, put them on a table. And he says, you can't say the table or the tablecloth is less important than the flowers. You have to say everything counts. And his artwork is very whimsical, personal, imaginative, connecting with reality and experience around him. And when he was younger, drawing was his first medium. He explains, for me, drawing was the same as dreaming at night. You don't decide what to dream about. You dream what you need. He says he's in two worlds and creates two landscapes from his imagination and real life. The painting here is called The Blend. The figure looks like they're sleeping, intimate like a bedroom, has a green dresser, the carpet is orange with cool patterns, that looks like a purple wallpaper or a curtain, very relaxed and nice composition colors and has good use of form so here he has we have the allen b which is part of his storefront series and the view is from a window the colors are contrasting well like the purple and the yellow and the figures in the painting are not depicted to focus mostly on the landscape. Here we have Ad Stout Girl. Uh, it's also has lots of colors, forms, and bars. There's a creepy face in the background, and this takes place in a drawing room. So this could be the nude, while these could be the forms drawing the nude. And the, these lines could be drawing tables, supplies, etc. And there's a lot of vibrancy going on. So here we have Paris Chic. 
It's part of his sex shop series from the storefronts. He uses composite colors. Figures in the windows could be mannequins or real people. And there's a red carpet layout and lights shining down, which gives it more like a elegant Hollywood feel. And the black against the window could mean that it could be nighttime. Here we have libidos, colorful forms, and the colors really contrast well with each other. The door looks like a fun house. The black and white against the windows looks like night. And these look like side views of shelves or furniture or geometrical forms. Here we have Canel. Canel is part of his Home Alone series where he did still lives and bird cages. He created the bird very abstract and representational, he uses composite colors. And the title of this painting and the other works of the series is based on Bruce Schultz's stories. Here we have Venus. This is also part of the storefront series. The red and white looks like 3D form. The background colors are opaque versus the colors in the middle to focus on the store. The door looks like a fun house, and the font is very playful and imaginative. Here we have Hermes. It's a horse light type of festival, very bright and childlike. The colors are blended like charcoal or conte, and very vibrant like a dream. So the figures and lights down here could mean that this is a festival and the people are looking above while these people are doing their horse race. And Hermes looks like he's not on a horse or just floating or he jumped really high. Here we have Black Handle Click Day. Uh, to collab with Mama Anderson, very mysterious works of melancholy, Swedish art, symbolism, and psychologically unstable art, which depicts good or bad. The women here look very relaxed, doing their stretches, and the colors are very relaxed, and they look like they're just vibing. Here we have Blue Moon. Blue Moon is, uh, looks like a type of hotel and it's very mysterious. It has a gray foggy sky and this is, could be that a hotel that comes out during a blue moon, but then disappears during a normal day. And this red part could be an elevator, and these are the lights outside of the hotel. Here we have another piece from his Untitled Flowers. It's, it's more sadder than the first painting because the blue really stands out and all these flowers are drooping out of the vase. The red and the black give me feelings that this vase and with flowers is distressed and the blue picture is giving sad vibes. Here we have Bar Feral. He, the sign is popping out more than the door. 
It looks like a bar that's hidden in an alleyway. The door is very narrow. The blue pavement has some texture with the circles. The sign has a lot of text and form and makes the viewer want to focus on this and enter this hidden bar. Here we have Walk Towards Hair Hill. This is painted on oil on cardboard, but a bit smaller. And here he's walking through a forest. And I get confused depicting between the blue if this is a sky or a water. Because it looks like there's a reflection of the tree. And this could be possibly sunshine. And the way that he layers the paint on top of each other represents more leaves instead of just drawing lines. And the colors here are melting together. And the, the way he puts the lines of the paint, they're not fully filled in, so it could mean like bark texture. And he uses a lot of bright colors instead of just the normal green and brown. And this one black line is enough to make it look like a tree bark, very representational. Here we have another painting, Walks Towards the Hair Hill. There's part of the same series. Uh, the pink could mean sun or a sunrise or a sunset. The light blue is a waterfall or a river. And the vibrant colors stand out well against the pink. And there is a close-up view of a fallen tree. And again, he uses the layering of the oil paint to make the texture of leaves. And also he did some texture down here. Not sure how, but he did it to make more texture on the ground as well. And here's the bibliography. And thank you for listening. Have a great day.